Well, let's have a look what's in this little box. I ordered this off eBay. It's come very basically packaged, but she is safe and sound. That's not a problem. As most of you know, who know me, now I do collect a lot of dolls, particularly Japanese type dolls, as in the anime, the smart dolls, the A-Zone dolls like that. But I do love my fashion dolls as well. And this little girl takes me back to when I was a little girl as well. But originally I had wanted to get a brunette. This one came up on eBay. I thought she was very, very pretty, so I went for her. The thing is now, as much as I was going to Riru, I actually think her hair is in very, very good condition. There's absolutely no plugs missing. It's very, very soft. So she might end up staying as she is. Maybe a little bit of a restyle, but otherwise I think she will be perfect. Let's have a look for some nibble marks. One thing that I don't like to see is bite marks in the fingers, but I have to admit I was guilty of that as a little girl myself. As it turns out, she's spotless. Hands are great. Feet, no problems at all. Legs, pin marks. No, she's absolutely immaculate as far as I can see. Let's have a look how the legs go. See how many clicks we get. One, two, two clicks, brilliant. One, two back. Other side, one. Mm, two was a little bit stiff, but it still did it, so I'll not push it anymore. Let's take that back. Again, she came with the little dress. Don't think it's the Cindy's. Somebody out there might be able to tell me otherwise, so let's have a little look. We'll not take it off. It's got to be a label somewhere. Oh, where are we? There we go. Label, label, label. It's up there somewhere. Oh, here we go. After all that, it's a Barbie dress anyway, but that's not a problem. I think it suits her lovely. I do have some Barbies as well, so they could borrow it, but I do think it looks quite pretty on her. I think it does suit her. She has got a marking on the back. Let's just move her hair. Can we see that okay? That bit of hair won't come out of the way. There we go. So we know she's all legit. Very, very pleased with that. As much as I was planning on experimenting a little bit, I think it would be sort of a shame to alter her over too much. So I think what I'm gonna do is get her some clothes made, particularly the hats. That is the reason, main reason I wanted her because as fashion dolls go, she does have a rather large head in comparison. So it is a little bit hard to get the size in. I hope that didn't go too blurry then. I'm just getting used to doing this. This is my first video. I am, I am aiming, if I can speak, to do a few more. Particularly, I want to showcase the crochet that I do, which is something I really am passionate about. And I do make crochet items for many different dolls. So I'm hoping to do some tutorials, perhaps, and some other little bits and pieces and introduce some of my other dolls. I think that's everything for today. Hopefully you enjoyed and it was a little bit informative. And we may be seeing you again. Thank you.